when you get the money like athletes. Young as ice grilling me. Oh, you not feeling me fine. It costs you nothing. Pay me no mind. Look, I'm on my grind, cousin. Ain't got time for fronting. Sensitive thugs, y'all all need hugs. Damn, little mans, I'm just trying to do me. If the wreck is two mil, I'm just trying to move three. Get a couple chicks, get them to try to do E. Hopefully, they're Menards before I reach my garage. I don't want much, fuck, I drove every car. Some nice cooked food, some nice clean drawers. Bird ass niggas, I don't mean to rubble y'all. I know you waking in the wing, but I'm doing my thing. Where's the love? Something to say, what's all the fucking fussing for? Because I'm grubbing more, and I pack heat like I'm the oven door. Niggas pray and pray on my downfall, but every time I hit the ground, I bounce up like round ball. Now I don't wanna have to kill sound ball, don't wanna have to cock back the four pound ball. Look, scrap, I got nephews to look after. I'm not looking at you dudes, I'm looking past you. I thought I told you, cat, cause I'm not a rapper. Can I live? I told you 96 that I came to take this shit and I did handle my biz. I scrambled like Randall with his cut in hand, but the only thing running is numbers, fam. Jigga held you down six summers. Damn, where's the law? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back, man. It's your host that do the motion, man. Backwood Breezy. So you know. <laughs> and this is how the city. The absent African. The absent African. That's what they that's call That's present me. tonight. Hey, man. It feel good to be back, man. To my left, you know, of course, I got the one and only Eddie B. Mr. Nobody, a.k.a. No Every Damn Body. You know, and to the far left, I got the one and only, only. Miss Trashy Vashy. Trashy Vashy. Always. And yes. we are Heart of the City Radio, yes. man. Um, it's Happy Thursday. Happy, you, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Uh, once again, it feels so good to be alive, man. And... um. I just want to. It's a real nice looking lady in the Anytime. Studio. Always. She trying to creep out. Don't creep out. We, I'm uh, talking about you. Uh, no. Yes, sir. She but, got the uh, whole Betty Booth thing going on. It feel good, man. It feel good to be alive, man. The weather is beautiful outside tonight. So if you guys it are really coming out tonight, good. take care of yourself. No. PSA. No. Wait. Hold up. Breeze. What is Let it me show y'all. Let me show uh, y'all. That's like a snake. <laughs> That's not snake. <laughs> like the uh, nah, man. Uh, Turn around, uh, sh- shout out, shout out to my barber, man. Had to put me in the hey. pocket, man. Uh, my my man, Cat Daddy. What's up, Wanks? Hey. You know what I mean. I I had to switch it up, man. Took the dress out, got my grown man on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I I came in the door. I yeah, was, you know what I mean. Who was this? Who was this stallion I'm about to walk in up in this spot? I almost start switching hard, and I said, "Oh, that's just breezy." Uh, hey, what's up, Shantae? It was just breezy. Yeah, chat. man. Sometimes Jerry, you gotta grow up. You know what I mean? If you I, want to like give it up for way, my man though. Breezy for man. I do not think that it was immature for your head to be like that. No, I'm just saying. You know, you know early thirties. My my There's some things I'm trying to accomplish, and now I mean, I you know it. I don't want the thing the the head to necessarily get in the way. Not yeah, that it really should, good. but 
I don't want to make a lane for an excuse that don't right. need to be there. You understand what I'm right. saying? That's, you so, right. You right. Sometimes yeah. you just got to, you know, kind of your Shout business. Shout out to my man Marcus. Welcome back, Marcus. Marcus. My man Marcus. In Marcus, the building, Marcus the darling. Super producer. My man. And once again, this week, we got my man Big J behind the board. Hey, J. Subbing in for my man, mm-hmm. my favorite white guy, who'll be back next week. And we are the Heart of the City crew. I got my man. We got a special guest tonight, my man, Mr. Antonio Ford. He's a master nutritionist. He going to teach us niggas how to eat and how to live well. Yes, you know God, what I'm saying? Because I'm a, over here bloated. Yeah, that's some real, real. <laughs> man, look, I can't even. I can't look, even look, it that's over here real. lying so motherfucking bad. We would be saying this shit while I'm smoking a fat ass no, back. No, I mean, right? but I think that might, that might but, not be but, a good no, thing. No, that's, that's, not, that's not what he, he don't <laughs> Right. I said nutritionist. Nutritionist. Yeah, he said he was the police. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 I, said, I said, he started hiding his weed. Oh, shit. Let me put my shit back. We good in here. Yeah, yeah. Nah, the weed. Ain't the problem, niggas. Them pork ribs. Oh, <laughs> the pork chops. Oh yeah, pork I ba- I gave the pork up and the and I, I been gave it. the pork up, but I gave the red meat up. I so right it. now I'm on my seafood shit and exercising. So hopefully they get me somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But I should, uh, I do recommend everybody the pescatarian life because if you you know a person that like flesh, quote unquote, but it's it's just try man. It makes you feel a lot lighter. Your stool smell a little different, you know what I'm saying? So just on some shit, you know. I'm not a nutritionist. We got the master nutritionist. I'm just you dropping know, I've been some on that juice. shit for about, about ten years. Now you all you eat is leaves and, and vegetables baby food. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Baby, it eats baby food, y'all. Yes. Keep your dick hard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Keep your dick hard, and that's important. We be right back in about a a j. Take us to commercial. We be right back in one minute, man. We gonna bring my man Antonio Ford to the table, y'all. We be right, right back. Hard City Radio. Yeah. Thank y'all. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Renee Allen and Friends Show. To the Renee Allen and Friends Show. We have a wonderful guest in the studio. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome, right? Mwah. Renee Hi, I'm Dr. Renee Starlin Allen, the host of the Renee Allen and Friends Show here on WLVS Radio, the largest online radio broadcast in the United States. Well, you know, this platform is for people to really know what's going on, you know, not just locally, but globally. Oh, I love it. You know, they say you're the, the man's the head, but we're the neck. We like, we put them wherever we want to put them. Is that true? Yes, ma'am, it is. <laughs> I want you to just talk about a few pieces okay. and then the fundraiser, because that's what I'm excited about. Okay. Because <laughs> we forgot about love. Beautiful love. Bringing you the best in entertainment, entrepreneurship, business owners, the whole gamut. It's so exciting. I am so impressed. The vibrancy in the car and the details. Can we hold one up? Oh, absolutely. I'll hold on. Oh I'll goodness. hold up one of my absolute favorites. So you really can't judge a book by its cover. And pageants are about beauty and brains and what you can bring to the platform. Because girl, when you're here. Was wrong. Yes, I need you Bringing you the finest in chefs in the DMV. Smoke pool pork. Mm. So everybody wave to your parents. <laughs> you are looking at Somerset's finest, the sophisticated ladies. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. And I hope to see you on my set one day. Hey, we back. Yeah. Back. Hey, you guys. <laughs> back that my Mama Joe. My man, Antonio. Well, let me, man, fuck that. You introduce yourself. Yes. Talk What's up, everybody? People. My name is Antonio Ford, the food lord. Born and raised in Washington, D.C. Trying to save some lives one bite at a time. Eating those most potent fruits, nuts, veggies, beans, and grains. A lot of people out here in the city, man. How y'all doing today, man? I really oh, appreciate being here with y'all today, man. Sound like you sound like Lee no, talking no, no, for a no. go-go band. I say, what y'all? <laughs> Eat right, y'all. Uh, uh, Come on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but go ahead. Do your thing, right? Yeah, man. You know, right now, man, so many people are on pharmaceutical pills. And you know what I mean? It's all about eating healthier, eating foods that got life in it. You know what I mean? If you're eating foods that's cooked out and dead, then how can you expect for it to bring life to your mm-hmm. body? You know what I mean? 
But if you're eating foods like raw foods, a lot of salads, a lot of beans, you know what I mean? You find yourself being replenished. You find yourself not being on pharmaceutical pills, right. going to the doctor. One of the prime reasons that people have all of the same diseases is because we eat in the same way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Breast cancer, devastating us. Heart disease, devastating us. Diabetes, devastating us. And it's all coming from our diet. Imagine if every time you ate some meat or your favorite cheese or seafood or dairy, instead of just eating that by itself, adding a superfood to it. First of all, let me tell y'all what a superfood is. Superfoods are foods that's high in protein and antioxidants. Some of my favorite superfoods is avocado, cucumbers, tomatoes, blackberries, blueberries, black beans, red uh, beans. So these are high foods that's high in antioxidants and protein. So what superfoods does best is it renew your skin cells and tissues. One of the prime reasons that people get breast cancer or gout, this is a skin disease. It comes from your diet. One of the main reasons people are having migraines or arthritis is coming from your diet. People walking around with years of age old animals in their coating. And they current it in their stomach like a kangaroo. And I want to help people to get rid of those stomachs simply by drinking prune juice, hot like tea, one hour before bed, warming it up, putting it in the microwave, and then drinking it an hour before bed. Do that for 21 days and guarantee it's going to push all those age-old animals out your colon. And, and when your you stomach something. go, your booty you grow. I'm going to tell you something, though, about that prune juice. Wear diapers, nigga. <laughs> Be close to it. Oh, no. It worked, nigga. I know about that shit. It's, hey, prune juice. Hey, my father was a believer in prune juice. No question. Yeah, no no question. Mm-hmm. But let me ask you this, though, right? Because I, I, I dig everything you're saying because when they say I eat like a baby, I changed my diet up like 10 years ago after my father died from lung cancer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like, you know, I, I, I believe that like, cancers and stuff are directly related to our diets. No question. But the problem that I encounter is the difficulties in changing that mindset of, you know what I'm saying, not only for me, but people around you when you like been accustomed to eating, you know what I'm saying, soul food all your life, you know what I'm saying, everything smothered and and fried and this and that. And and that, that age old belief like shit, my grandmother ate this shit forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can, I so can I. But, like, man, my grandmother was, was on all kinds of heart medicines and shit like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, blacking out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, dizzy spells, faint spells, because everything my grandmother cooked was cooked in lard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's like, I love my grandmother dearly, but that's not the lifestyle that I want to, you know, for saying, yourself. Right yeah. for myself. So, you know, I just looked at, looked, looked at, my family history and just my, you know, inner city, it just, the way we all were raised. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I got to break this monotony or I'm going to be just like my, my, my. Following the same yeah, trends same and trend. patterns, yeah, dietary exactly. right, patterns. Right, right, right. I have a question. But, right. Okay. Oh. No, go ahead. No, I was just saying, how do you convince people right. to change how they've been accustomed to eating for so long? That's the beauty, man. When, when, when people see me, they say, you 50 years old. I say, yeah, I'm 50. I say, man, look at the Ripides. The Ripides. When people see my physique, they be like, wow, that's amazing. I could do that. When people think of their pictures from back in the day and they look at themselves, they do a, throw, uh, a throwback Thursday, which is a throwback Thursday today. When they do look at them throwback Thursday pictures, they be like, wow, I want to get back to where I was. I can do this. And then the biggest part of it is people become totally dissatisfied. I have to keep going to the doctor. And the doctor keep flea flicking you to the pharmacist. And the pharmacist keep flea flicking you back to the doctor again. So once you go through this ritual, this practice for so many years, and you notice that you're spending so much money on the, the travel of the going to the doctor, the travel, the expenses and buying the pharmaceutical pills, man, you get sick of it. At least some people do. And so for those who become dissatisfied, those are the prime people that, that can bring about change. So it all starts one bite at a time, but more importantly, dissatisfied satisfaction bring about change. You have to be dissatisfied of your dietary condition in order to resurrect and elevate your 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 new state of mind. Right on. 
No, no, that's a key fact. Like, you got to look yourself in the mirror and when enough is enough. Like, the the key saying growing up is real. Like, if you really dig deep into it and they say you are what you eat, you know what I'm saying? I had to understand that because I used to eat the pork and stuff growing up, just like Ed said. We, I, I used to eat the pork, eat bacon, all that. But, man, that, when you really dig deep and do your research on that shit, on what you putting in your stomach, man, that shit ain't right. And then... People dying at these early ages. You see these people, they fucked up at an early age, man. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. are what you eat. Like, we eat food to live. So imagine what you putting in your body. And I ain't, like, this on the super healthy tip yet, but I'm going. I'm getting it because I done cut all that shit out. Like, I'm right now, I'm just with straight seafood. Like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? To me, in my eyes, that's the safest type of... You know what I'm saying? Meat, if you want to call it that, whatever you... To me, out the water, is the safest thing. You know what I'm saying? Not I, all that cholesterol and fat in it, even though it does have some, but, man, all that red meat and all that shit they putting in steroids and all that shit they putting in that, man, that's coming into your body. Like you say, that shit just sitting in your colon. So when you look yourself in the mirror, enough is enough. No question. Well, I you know have a question. Um, for the women, should our diet be different from... The men's diet, and um, that's the first thing. Okay. And do you feel like you can still lose weight by eating healthy, but without exercise? You have to exercise, or can you just change your diet and lose weight and you know tone up or whatever? Well, let me say this: I don't work out that much. Okay. They say, well. How you get your rippities <laughs> like this? Mm -hmm. I say, well, well, maybe I do work out. Mm -hmm. But what do I work out? Okay. I work out my mouth. <laughs> the way I chew. Right. They say, how many crunches you do? I say, it depends on what I'm eating. Maybe fruits, nuts, veggies, beans, or grains. Mm -hmm. My workout, my crunches, all coming from the food I'm crunching on. Right. Not from, from doing this in the gym. Mm -hmm. So the first gym is your refrigerator. So okay. if you go to the if you if you make your refrigerator healthy, guarantee your body gonna show it. Right on. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So if we can if we can get in the habit of rearranging our refrigerator, mm -hmm. I can walk to somebody's refrigerator and I'm telling you, man, it's a crime scene. Get the yellow tape, man. They got all kinds of dead animals up in that joint. Mm. Cows, dogs, lambs, hams, and some countries cats. You know it. You know the so-called delicatessen. You know you just changed my diet though. As soon as you started talking, so, uh, you, you have all these age-old animals and, oh, sitting that, up that, in your coat. Oh, cold. that almost yes, killed indeed. me. Yeah. Oh, I feel bad. So I don't want them. I don't so want this, no chicken. <laughs> I don't want no beef. Not for real, man. I shit. want none of you. No, nah, that shit is crazy, in my man. old in my stomach. Yeah. I don't want. I don't even want what? a baby in my stomach. Like so I goddamn don't want no dead shit up in my stomach. I made yeah. that conscious decision. Seriously. I made a conscious decision ten years ago. Yeah. To like just go all fish. Yeah. And it was a struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. It was definitely a struggle. But you know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't lose weight exactly like I thought I was. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Because one thing about that now we got to understand about salt and sodiums mm -hmm. i mean salt and sugars and how those can play a big uh mm -hmm. factor on your on your weight gain you yeah. understand what i'm saying no question but no question i made a conscious decision as far as not to eat meat and things like my cholesterol level dropped tremendously mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying my blood pressure was always like excellent okay right. so my doctors was 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 damn for for a guy your size you have excellent readings. Okay. So what was I doing wrong? I had to start thinking down. So what am I doing wrong? I'm not. I didn't cut out the meats. I didn't cut out. You know what I'm saying. Most of the, you know, animal you didn't products. Cleanse out your I colon. didn't cleanse my colon one, mm -hmm. and I wasn't uh, being conscious of how much sodium and sugar I was taking. Yeah, because sodium my swell you so up and sugar swells you up. Sodium swells you up and sugar doesn't do nothing but yeah. caramelize. So how? But how would you good. clean your colon? Without taking like any type of supplement, can you do it like naturally, like with the prune juice? Of course. Okay. Of course. So what I recommend is that you get you some prune juice mm -hmm. and put it in the microwave or put it on the stove and make mm -hmm. it hot. You don't want it to boil, but you want it to reach right. that point just before it boils. Okay. Okay. Put that sucker, pour it in a coffee mug, mm -hmm. drink six to eight ounces. Okay. Drink it an hour before bed. 
And if you do that practice for 21 days, on day 22, you're going to be totally amazed. Your colon would have been cleansed from those age-old animals. If you're 30, you have 20 years of animals stuck in your colon. Damn it, man. If you're 40, you have 30 years of age-old animals sitting in your colon. So I got Bambi up in here. I got Bambi. Damn, I got so Rudolph. Yeah. I got a bunch of animals. Whole, I got you got Noah's Ark in you. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. when the cocks fall, yeah. and shit. Yeah. Every animal. He got two, ch of, he got two oh chickens, two dogs, God. two pigs. So let me tell you. Let me tell you the most dangerous thing that the animal is doing to you outside of after you eat it. So after you eat it, the first thing it does, the the cholesterol goes into your veins. You remember when Grandma used to cook her bacon back in the day, mm. and she would pour the grease oh, on. Yes. So what that grease did, what did it do once it set in that container? It got ugly and white and like paste. And hard, right? Yes. So can you imagine what it's doing to your veins when they get inside your veins? I don't want to talk and so about what it. happens is the doctors got to give you blood thinners because your arteries is blocked with that. Right. That's the cholesterol. And look, and if you if you ever wonder what we call the itis. That's when your bloodstream actually slows down. Your heart is not pumping blood wow. as efficiently. Yeah. So we get sleepy. We think it's some natural nigga shit. No, it is. It's, it is some nigga shit because we eating some nigga shit. And just, this nigga shit I got just, us feeling like it. No you know question. Yep. So hey, when you eat these oh, high calories, when you eat those, when you eat, when you eat, those um when you eat an animal of any mm. sort right mm. what happens is you want to go to sleep afterward dog oh, i want to lay down for a little while i'm oh, tired i'm very God, tired man, i'm sleepy but what happens is that cholesterol remember the grease that we poured in the container yes. that grease is pouring into your veins and so while it's pouring into your veins is restricting the blood and oxygen flow in your arteries. Right. So listen to this. If blood and oxygen can't travel through mm -hmm. to your heart, you have a heart attack. Bro. If blood and oxygen can't get to your brain, you have a stroke. Yeah. If blood and oxygen can't get to your skin, your cells, your tissues, mm -hmm. you get breast cancer, thyroid, mm -hmm. fibroid, all of these that's mm -hmm. results from the cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And guess what? One more thing. Blood and oxygen can't flow down low. No question. Your wiener won't grow. <laughs> oh. No question. Just know that. Yeah. Just know that. Sort of we talk God. about we talk about you, erectile I, dysfunction and shit like that. That's that's directly related to it. I'm, oh, no I'm question. Say for the women. No real question. Quick. I'm a hairstylist, so last year, maybe last summer, I kept saying. Something is something that all women, I know black women that you know that we're intaking, that is giving us um, menopause and fibroids. Yes. Because a lot of my clients, you know, and plus people that they know have that. And I'm like, it's something that everyone is eating it that's causing this. Fibroids you know, is the direct result yeah. of animal consumption. Oh, I can't take it. Yeah. Animal so I can just stop eating animals. Oh. Period. Animals. Classy in them. Animals is responsible for the biggest human so health disaster eat, so in I human so, history. So, so it's not good to eat any kind of meat, even seafood. No animal is safe. Okay, so let me ask you so, this. Let me this ask is you why this. I always wow. recommend that people to wow. add superfoods with them. Okay. Right. So, yeah, like yeah. The, so, like so, the, right. Okay, so, right. Okay, because I, like I said, for most people, I like, for people that's of certain cultures. Yeah. Like they live by they live by animal, you know what I'm saying? Like like say you know what I'm saying? Your Asians, your 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 Latins and stuff like that. People yeah, Africans. live by that. The, yeah, the African cultures, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. Like these people. Right. Is it is it so much the animal or how it's cooked? So, people say, well, food lord, what is it about the animal that makes it deadly? Whether you bake it, whether you steam it, whether you fry it. Whether it come from Whole Foods or Hell's Kitchen, it right. still leave cholesterol behind. Mm. Okay. And that cholesterol is the reason that the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies are getting mega rich. Mm. Now, in addition to the animal being deadly in and of itself, now you got to add into the equation capitalism. Because because of capitalism, now you got to worry about drugs being injected into the animal mm -hmm. to make them grow faster, to keep up with the demand of it. You see what I'm saying? So you eating this meat, 
that's going to cause you health problems, and then it has drugs injected in it, steroids injected in it, hormones injected in it, and you wonder why people are having all kinds of diseases and all of these after effects and side effects. Mm -hmm. Man, it's all from our diet. And remember, the more meat we eat, and the less we eat less superfoods. We think collard greens is like the like the like the best green ever. Mm. But that is nowhere near the potency of a kale or a spinach or a Swiss chard. Mm. These are powerful foods and collard greens is just a regular food. You know what regular weed is and, and draw, right? Not Reggie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, Reggie and Lyle. Yeah, yeah. Reggie and Lyle, so right? Collard greens are the Reggie. <laughs> yeah, the collard Reggie greens are the, are the Reggie. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, the Swiss God. chard and the kale is the Lyle. That's the Lyle. Okay, yes, God damn it. Oh, so, hey, God. look, I'm look, y'all. I don't want to eat. New lesson for the day. Collard greens are Reggie. Yeah. Reggie. Yeah, yeah. Over there so, eat. I don't want to So when you go to Thanksgiving, man. No Fuck Reggie off the table, man. Fuck <laughs> this shit off the table, man. I don't want no shit. There's so a lot of guys, man, that suffer from, from that erectile Reggie, dysfunction man. too, right? Mm. And um, so I want to shoot out, shout out a couple of words for him because nobody should have to go to the gas station and buy those pills or go to the doctor and get the pharmaceutical I don't pills, want them. The Viagra. <laughs> I don't want them. <laughs> and then some guys can't even them. take them because the doctors say your heart ain't healthy in the home. You eat so many animals that your yeah. heart ain't healthy enough to take the Viagra. And you so on drugs. Really, he really you sick You taking man. that and Molly. <laughs> <laughs> and they be on drugs. I don't want so. them, but you know what happens, though? I'm going to tell you why a lot of brothers is getting... Erectile dysfunction because poor diet. Poor the poor diet is one, right? And then you you taking a lot of shit, man, to keep your dick up that you don't need. Like Viagra for real, for real. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm guilty of it. I popped the Viagra. And that thing stayed up for man a day and a half. No. I was planning to just Jesus Lord, <laughs> please. Oh, you have to take off man, work. Man, please, man, man. I down there peed all on the walls, man. You don't need that shit, man. Right. It's, it because what it is is it's basically a heart medicine. No question. It was for people that 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 needed nitroglycerin for for they that was having heart problems. Mm -hmm. So Doctor Frost that made Viagra, man, he just came up with a new concept that really. All it is is for men that suffer from blockage, block veins and no stuff. No question. Opens the bloodstream up no again. No question. That's why they tell you if you're having an erection for longer than this recommended time, consult a physician. Yeah. Because right. now your heart is working at a rate <laughs> that it that, shouldn't. Yeah, that right. right. You know what body. I'm saying? So <laughs> when motherfuckers taking Viagra at our age, and, and, and like I said, we don't have half the problem, like you said, so we 20. We only been you know, consuming meat for about 10 years, that's still not a, a longer process mm -hmm. as a man that's 60 mm -hmm. that's man. been eating meat all his life. Right. And he really needs that 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 yeah. blood to pump. Right. We 20, our eyes ain't that bad. We can we can change ours up. So when we start taking them at these younger ages, mm -hmm. it causes too much your right. heart to really overwork itself. That's right. why they say it's not suggested for men under a certain age because they believe that if you are 20, 30, 40, mm -hmm. you should still be able to function cor correctly. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So when you got somebody, man, I've got 10 bitches. I'm trying to smash all 10. Because <laughs> this is how niggas be, though. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to smash 10 bitches. I got 10 bitches going. I'm a fucking, I eat what I want to eat. I'm a fucking, I'm, I'm a pop of Viagra. That's going to help me fuck all 10. Nigga, you's overworking your heart. Right. No question. Like, and that's the true. part, that's the part that we don't take into consideration. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, they say the shit really works. Yo, that shit work, nigga. Yeah, that work. Viagra it shit, work. that shit work, nigga. But the price you pay afterwards is like, oh no, hell no, never again. Mm. Yeah, no, guys say the that. next morning, like, it's, it's like, in, yeah, they they like my chest. Like I'm just going in the bathroom, keep feeling my chest, my heart, my heart <laughs> pumping out. My, <laughs> like, ho, ho, ho. I'm not and supposed for, to feel like and, this. And, and for the women, we don't want y'all to take that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's babies out here that's uh, babies, that's uh, oh, Viagra shit. babies. Yeah, like mm. that's just too much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. did you? Yeah, mm. Viagra babies. <laughs> mm. I'm just mm. saying, like, we don't want that. We want a natural man, natural time, good, healthy. You know, we don't need you sweating and dying and shit, <laughs> okay? You know, we just want you to, you know, or whatever you do. We just, we don't want it to be like that. We want good, healthy. We don't want that seven-day shit. You see like my 30 veins? minutes. Can you see my veins? I see all of them. 
Man, let me, let me see. Oh, Lord. You, you see these veins? Nigga, fuck your veins. I'm jealous. <laughs> man, so what yes. happened is cholesterol get in these joints, right? Mm. And so it start blocking them up. Mm. It's like a straw. They look like straws, right? Yeah. And so imagine if you pack peanut butter in a straw, right? And can you pour some water through that straw mm -hmm. once you pack that peanut butter in there? And so that's what the cholesterol is doing to it. Mm -hmm. It's blocking up our arteries. And mm -hmm. causing every conceivable, mm -hmm. every new disease you see out here today from lupus to breast cancer to heart disease to gout mm -hmm. to cervical cancer and so on and so forth, all coming from a poor animal-based diet. Okay, two questions. How does dietary, uh, how does your diet affect your hair growth? Hair growth? And scalp. And scalp. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to call you back on the show. So the, See, we keep it all the way real on our joint, nigga. Yeah, we had some yeah, phones yeah, on yeah, our yeah, joint. Yeah, yeah, this is hey, my man, nigga, I'm gonna call you. Nigga, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you back. Get my phone. I'm gonna call you back. Nigga, I'm on the studio. He said, nigga, I'm in the studio. Nigga, he's dropping bars. Nigga, that's how real we keep it, nigga. Damn. Go ahead, man. Say it. Talk your shit, man. So I'm gonna give you a perfect example. My ex-wife. All right. She uh, she when I first met her, her hair was falling out. All right, mm. I liked her a lot. She was hanging around me a lot, and I love to cook. Mm. So I'm cooking for her. And guess what was one of the first things she noticed in dealing with me? Her hair stopped falling out. But she didn't notice it from her hair. She noticed it in her brush. That uh -huh. when she went to go clean out her brush, she yes. noticed it was less hair in her oh. brush. Mm. And so she started eating superfoods. Mm -hmm. So superfoods naturally make your hair grow. Mm -hmm. Like, for an example, if you eat avocados, you're going to notice your hair start growing. Mm -hmm. You're going to notice that your fingernails hard when you clip, cut them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're going to notice if you eat spinach that mm -hmm. your hair is going to grow a lot. Right. Now, let me just tell you, let me just tell you some foods. That shit don't work for hairlines, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah They've been frying Fuck me for that. my hairlines yeah. since yeah. the 70s. Right. My shit oh been my gone God. long <laughs> time ago, nigga. No. <laughs> <laughs> my hairline passed away in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the you know, 90s, damn. You, you, definitely, you definitely want to eat, eat a lot of superfoods. Superfoods <laughs> do super things. Yes. They make your hair grow. It saves your love life. It reverses yeah. disease. Yeah. Matter yeah. of fact, I can show you some foods that have reversed HIV and genital herpes. Wow. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to give you an example. Somebody have genital herpes outbreak right now, right? And they come to me, and I say, go to the grocery store and get you some blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, some black beans, or even a pomegranate. And give yourself about four minutes and drink some warm water behind it. Warm water, and about five minutes later, guess what? Them herpes is going to start disappearing. It ain't my way. It's just the power of superfoods. Wow. Superfoods are very powerful. Mm. And so they do powerful things. You could be in a bad mood. Eat some superfoods. Watch your mood change. Matter of fact, if you're in a bad mood right now, I can serve you some good sweet potatoes or a, a, a nice portion of strawberries and guarantee your mood is going to be totally pleasant mm. afterwards. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, question. We, we touched on the foods and the superfoods. What about the beverages? Oh, man, I'm glad you said that. So this is the thing right now. Yes. You got concentrate and non-concentrated drinks. All of those drinks, 98% of the drinks in the stores are from concentrate. All concentrated juices cause diabetes. And we wonder why people are running around here with high skills mm -hmm. of being diabetics. It's the result of drinking these concentrated drinks. Mm -hmm. When you go in a store, look at the label. Matter of fact, let me quote this for not just the drinks, but also food too. Read your labels. Mm -hmm. Don't just put something in your, in your cart. Read the label. And if you can't spell it, if you can't pronounce it, go to Google and mm -hmm. Google it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be startled what this guy during ingredient does to your ultimate driving machine. Mm. But back to the concentrated and non-concentrated. Quick, 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 quick. I, quick. I, I recommend that Listen, people drink non-concentrated. I, I ain't even mean to cut you off, but what you said, uh, true fact, true fact, true fact. If you look at motherfucking uh, Lucky Charms, mm -hmm. They got a con they got a content in that shit that's that's in lead thinning. Yeah. Lead, a paint thinner. Yeah. Like how the fuck does the FDA allow you to serve paint, paint thinner, thinner. Mm -hmm. in fucking food, dog? Cereal. In yeah. cereal. You want that our one? kids eat like dog. Like dog. Like how the fuck do you allow that? 
It's about population de- uh, depopulating Jesus. the planet. And while depopulating the planet, in addition, we teach people how to eat unhealthy so that ensures that the doctor, the pharmaceutical, the big uh, pill makers, the big mm-hmm. agriculture, these companies stay in business. Mm-hmm. If we if we ate healthy, guess who will go out of business immediately? The doctors and the pharmaceutical companies. But as long as we eat unhealthy, the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies going to keep on booming. Booming. They booming too. I mean, but I'm going to say this because for me, when I go on a diet, I never say, well, I'm not going to stop eating this. I'm, I'm just, I just do it. And then I just find, oh shit, I'm, I'm hungry, you know, but I'm with, it's, it's so hard to just change. It's like you hear voices, like you'll be walking past the cookies in the store and be like, Mm. You know what I used to do though? Let me go get them cookies. You know what I used to do? I ain't even like, gonna lie. I used to mother this the shit that I used to want to cut back on at first. I learned to fuck that shit up for, for about a week. I'm gonna fuck this and shit don't up. Want it and no then, more. Like, man, I don't even want this shit. No more. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? That started my move on process. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm, I'm I just think the dead animals just started my move process when I get in the car and I had Chick-fil-A waiting. But I yeah. don't want it. Yeah, I don't want it. Like, I don't want it. I like, don't want it. I don't it. want that shit. Before, man. Every <coughs> I time don't. I eat, it's like now, the way I'm set up, like if I eat oh. certain shit and the shit ain't right for me, man, that shit fucks my stomach up. Nah, yeah. I got a weak stomach. Like, so that's my Jimmy motivation too. right there. Jimmy I ain't trying to be shitting up. all day because right. I done ate some bad right, food. Right, right. So right. I don't right. have time. So yeah. I just stick. I know right. I know the more mm. natural shit mm. ain't going to fuck with me as much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know, fuck, if I eat, Kale, kale's not going to destroy my stomach. Right. As opposed to me going to get some uh, Wendy's. Uh, a, a Wendy's joint. You know what I'm saying? And I mm-hmm. still love McDonald's fries, nigga. I ain't even going <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm not. But at the same time, I, I get on my shit now with, man, I'm going to go ahead on up the street and get me these Brussels sprouts. Mm-hmm. I've been eating fucking Brussels sprouts for breakfast for the last fucking two, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Just just what I do. And, yeah. and, 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 and it ain't like I Oh boy, you gotta eat these Brussels sprouts, like you know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not, I'm, it's not see, that I, feeling. I'm, I'm, I'm it's gonna not change. that feeling. It's not that like, feeling. It's just change. like I'm gonna get up, man. I'm gonna go ahead, man. Something has to get. I'm gonna go up the street, man. They make some bomb ass Brussels sprouts, man. Them joints good with some, with some. I, I, I make it a habit to drink. Uh, 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 core water, you know what I'm saying? Cause I just mm-hmm. like the way it tastes. Mm-hmm. Like that might be my my meal for the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I get some almonds or something to snack on or something like that. Because so do you feel I like don't... you have to eat a certain amount of meals and portions a day? Because a lot of people say, well, you can eat six times a day and shorten your portions. It's from you know two, three portions to divide those up to you know like is it. Do you have to eat? Because then you hear people say, well, I know I can miss a day eating. Like, I can just probably juice that day or juice for one of that meal. One of those meals. So, I don't, you know. So, the the, the thing is, the thing is, um, people need to learn how to eat first and foremost. Okay. All right? So, we don't know how to eat properly. Mm-hmm. And because we don't know how to eat properly, we follow the just the... the, the our any old eating habits mm-hmm. so once we learn how to eat then we can mm-hmm. learn how to say okay i'm only gonna eat this i'm only gonna eat that mm-hmm. so what i recommend to people don't place no unnecessary pressure on yourself right it's one bite at a time you mm-hmm. know what i mean eating six times a day small portions even though it's still an animal portion think about it you dropping six dosages of death food in your body right and six different occasions so mm-hmm. what is your colon doing if it takes 72 hours for one setting of animal to pass through your whole system and you're adding six small portions those six small portions are going to slow up your digestive mm-hmm. process mm-hmm. so imagine if you're doing this consistently can you imagine how clogged up your colon is? Yeah. I'm doing I'm doing that 21. Now, let me ask you this question. Day, I, and I know the answer cleanse. to it. This type, type of, it's kind of rhetorical, but I just want to hear it, man, you know, verbalize. How, how much of bad diets play on mental health? Oh. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what? It's funny you just say that. Now, think about this. Now, I have a car. Mm-hmm. Now, I go out and put some water in the car. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, my car already has gas in it. Mm-hmm. So it may run a little while with that water poured in there, right? Mm-hmm. But how long is it going to run? Okay. Now, let's make let's bring this to our diet now. So, if we're eating unhealthy food, right? Mm-hmm. And the bulk of our diet is unhealthy. <laughs> mm-hmm. How is it that we expect to be healthy if the bulk of our food is always unhealthy? Mm-hmm. So I always recommend to people, if you're going to eat an animal, don't just eat an animal. Add a superfood to it. If you're going to eat unhealthy, remember, add some healthy stuff to mm-hmm. it. And by eating the healthy stuff, it helps to protect your heart, your brain. So when people eat unhealthy all the time, it affects their mental health. So one of the prime reasons that people are short fused is because their arteries are so clogged. The moment they have a crisis, the blood and oxygen, their heart get to break break going fast, their eyes going fast, their heart rate going fast. So now they can't think because, man, I'm out, I'm out my head. Right. People don't realize food changes your mood, and when you eat unhealthy for the most part you're gonna notice it in your attitude you notice that you're mm-hmm. not friendly mm-hmm. you notice that you're sickly feeling you notice mm-hmm. that your stomach bothers mm-hmm. you you notice that you're always having a problem i had one woman that i was dating in early 2000 and um she would defecate once a month yeah. And she would call me in the bathroom and laugh and show me this gigantic defecated little piece of shit is and I was like, good? man, that is no. abnormal. That so one. T- no, no, man, when you defecate one no. time a month, no, that's nigga. dangerous. You supposed to you supposed every, to defecate twice every day. a day. Yes, right. at least yes. at least twice yes. a day. Yes, right. that, you know yes. what I'm saying. I get right. my early morning shits on. Always, every morning. <laughs> Always nigga, in the morning. Fuck man, what you, you heard. To. I yeah, got yeah, I get yeah, my yeah, I get my morning shit on and I get my night shit on. And believe you me. I believe in shit. I fuck right. that, nigga. How I stand, else is this I stand, supposed to leave out of your body? I take pride. I don't get it. Let me I ask take y'all pride this on that shit. I take pride on the, on taking the shit, y'all. Take a shit, man. Let me ask y'all the this question. Best thing you can ever do. <laughs> so think about it. Have you noticed that practically everybody in the whole community all across America got attitude? Have you noticed that? Have you ever even considered that it might be our diet? Mm. People never even associated with diet. So if your diet is bad and people got this attitude, and then we're eating also the TV, mm-hmm. we're also eating the radio. So we eating a poor diet and then we eating poor TV and poor music. Ooh. Man, what is that gonna make us, man? It's gonna make us have poor health. Yes. And so when you walk around and you see these people so attitudical, mm-hmm. you ain't gonna find that in the Webster. If you see so many people <laughs> attitudical, <laughs> it's because the diet, yes. the diet we make of up, the mind. We make up our own slang on Heart of the City, nigga. Yeah, attitudical, man. mother. Attitudical, motherfucker. Yeah. Attitude. What's, no, but what's look your though. Attitudical problem Why are you so attitudical, please? What's your attitudical uh, problem? Can we get the root of that? Can we get the uh, definition of that word, <laughs> sir? <please? laughs> no, but look though. Yeah, the root to attitudical is being having an attitude. Right. You know what I mean? That's the root to being attitudical. No. Your right. attitude is so bad, man, that you know you just attitudical straight right. up. Check mm-hmm. this out though. I think we're missing another key fact too because um, majority of the people, they got habits. So when you got drinking habits, you got alcohol, you got smoking habits, on top of a bad diet, mm. Lord of mercy. You know, <laughs> you, you, you set yourself up for failure. All day. All day. So if you got these habits and you can't kick them, at least, like my mercy. man say, add some superfoods to your diet. To at soup. least balance some of the shit, yeah, out, the man. shit out, man. You can't Listen. just be drinking balance when you're going to the out. club, popping all these bottles, drinking these hot, this hot ass Hennessy, and then Ooh, going yeah. eating the steak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, chick- and then Viagra wings, after that, chicken you wings. Want to swell up Didn't like Rick Ross? Pepperoni, pepperoni the pizza. Why be can't why, do none why, of that shit, man? Why swell up like Rick Ross and shit? Then you gonna pass out like Rick Ross? It's not cool. So <laughs> say he's big no more. Hey, Rick talk. Ross say fuck that yeah, So you know if you like that hey, champagne man. Or you like that alcohol Or even if you like that weed 
Man, Eat an avocado. I ain't judging nobody. Yeah. I'm just saying, man, I ate some healthy superfoods, and I'm taking that and running with it. So I'm going straight I to the store to get me some healthy food. So, so you, so, I'm just over real quick, we're going to get into this because we got to wrap this up, man. But, but you wrote a, a children's book. Am I crazy? Am I? My son, my nine year old son, was eight years old at the time. Okay. He wrote his first book last year, Seven Goes Grocery Shop. Wow. Okay. So, so, and you got a book about all the superfoods. Yes, I have the a ABC where, where book of superfoods. Actually, I should, I meant to bring it, I got a backpack in my car. Mm-hmm. But, um, uh, ABC Book of Superfoods, um, The Food Law Goes Grocery Shopping. Um, I have a DVD entitled Saving Myself with a Plant-Based Diet. I have an autobiography entitled From a Nigger to a God. I have a book that I created with my family, The Food Lord and Family Plant a Garden, in mm-hmm. which I show people how to plant superfoods and grow foods that heal and not foods that's going to kill. Mm. Oh, man. Where can Bye. we get these books? Where can we purchase? Well, I encourage people to join me on Facebook. Check okay. me out, uh, Antonio Ford, and then put fitness or you can go to Amazon.com and type in uh, Antonio Ford and voila, like a scholar. They go all my work right wanna, there at I'm you. I'm going. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I on it. Amazon, yeah, you check that out, man. You just changed my life with the already animals in my stomach. Published and all that. So <laughs> all you guys, some of you okay. write books and shit, man. Get your shit yes, together, indeed. man. So what, have we, Antonio Ford, so what man. have we learned here today, boys and girls? I don't want no dead animals in my stomach. Hooray! Give her a Yay! hand on that, y'all. Yay! But if you... But if let, let's see if you was listening, if you if you want to eat a dead animal, you should add, add some superfood. Super yeah, add a superfood, avocado and or something. Good healthy eating increases what? Goddamn life all the way yes. around the boardwalk. It preserves it preserves your mental health. I right. Want to see my- and I your sex life. And want, it keeps your dick hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I can't, I wouldn't even be me if I don't suggest this to you all. So one thing I suggest to every meat eater mm-hmm. is that they always drink green tea right. with honey and ginger. Because okay. it's the cheapest, cheapest, but yet most effective way to wash the cholesterol okay. out your body. So you could be sipping green tea while we on the radio station. Mm-hmm. Or you could be sipping tea while you're on your way to work. Mm-hmm. Or you could be sipping tea while you mm, green doing tea, something. Green tea, honey, and what? Green tea, honey, and ginger. Fresh okay. ginger. Fresh ginger root. Drop it in there. Just cut, cut a piece of it all about the size of a quarter. Drop it. And that, that has, it's like soap. Mm-hmm. So what it's going to do is it's going to start washing out those arteries because okay. it's pure antioxidant. It's going to wash out those arteries, wash their heart, wash those brain, mm. all those uh, vessels and, and, and veins and, and, and replenish and give you that energy. And it's also like coffee, but yet it doesn't mess your gastrointestinal area up like coffee. That's why I don't drink coffee. Mm. Coffee ah. mess your, give you gastrointestinal ah. problems. Ah. You know what I mean? Hey, but look. the green tea gives you antioxidants. Right. Hey, look here. Hey Tony, hey Tony, and Mr. F, Mr. Ford, I want to thank you for coming out. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man, Mr. Mr. Yes, Ford. Yes, I Madam needed Mr. that. Yeah, appreciate that, man. You, you, you kicked. That was some heavy convo right there. I appreciate there, that. Man. I appreciate that, man. Just man. remember, the best is yet to come, and it's one by the time. Tell them where they can yeah. find you at once again. Antonio Ford on Facebook. Uh, type in fitness after you type in Antonio Ford. And um, I'm usually the first one, if not just type in fitness. And also, you can go to Amazon.com and check out my books, man. They're life-saving, life-changing. And it's about sharing and helping somebody besides yourself. Don't ever forget that. Okay. Straight up. Got my man, Backwood Breezy. Always. Got Miss Trashy Rashy. Bye. My favorite nerd. My favorite backup. My favorite, my favorite show that come on after us. Best of the best. Yeah. My two favorite audience members, thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> That's two favorites. I can't die. My favorite six fans. My favorite six fans. <laughs> my cousin, Sean, my sister, everybody. And we out. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight, man. We had a great day. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. Thursday. Love y'all. Right.